every time I do this, I just feel the healing properties of going this on. It's kind of this gentle, soothing heat rather than like a really harsh heat. Welcome to my channel where we talk all things holistic health and wellness. My name is Lauren. I have a bachelor's degree in nutrition and six years of living plant based under my belt. Today is another episode of Healthy Living with Lauren, and I'm still working on that name if you have any suggestions. But we're going to be diving into what infrared sauna is all about. So, a few weeks ago, I headed to Georgetown in Washington, D.C. If you haven't been there, you have to go. It's such a cute spot. But don't spend all your time on the main street. Go and walk around on the back streets and check out all the cute houses. It just has so much charm. I, I love walking around on the back streets of Georgetown. But I went and visited my friend and a former social media client, Allison, at Georgetown Massage and Body Work. Allison is a small business owner, an incredible masseuse, and such a knowledgeable resource on holistic wellness. And they have an infrared sauna at Georgetown Massage and Body Works, which she let me try, which was incredible. This was really my first experience doing this kind of infrared sauna. It is in a small encapsulated sauna, so it's a little bit different from the ones that you kind of might envision. And once I did it, I knew we had to talk about it here because it was such an incredibly healing experience. I noticed such a difference in just the way I felt. I felt like so much detoxification happened. I felt like I slept better after I did it and it loosened up all of the stiffness in my body and my joint. It felt so good that I even went back two more times after that, which I don't live directly in Washington DC. I'm a little bit outside of it in Virginia and I, I had to go back because the experience was so awesome. So why does it feel so good? And what actually is infrared sauna? And where should you do it at? So I'm gonna answer all those questions, but first, just a tiny disclaimer, I am not a doctor and I'm not a sauna expert, but I really wanted to share this healing experience with you. But just keep in mind, if you are under 18, if you are pregnant or you're nursing or you have any kind of pre-existing condition that might be aggravated with a sauna with heat, this might not be right for you. So you can check with your health person or do further investigation, but just keep that in mind. So what is infrared sauna and how does it compare to a regular sauna so I think in our minds when we think of a regular sauna we think of you know those wooden rooms sometimes at gyms and fitness areas sometimes they have hot coals in and that's the way they're heated I know I've done sauna before that way and the heat in those can go up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit they have been around for centuries too like in some places like in Finland people have been using saunas for a very long time you might also think of a steam room which you generate steam and that heat from pouring water on hot rocks or through a generator. Steam rooms kind of offer similar benefits, but the heat is gonna be a little bit lower than in a traditional sauna. And of course you have humidity as a factor. The humidity in a steam room is going to be 100%. <laughs> so what is an infrared sauna? So infrared light, which we experience as heat, is the invisible part of the sun's spectrum. It has the ability to penetrate human tissue, so we experience kind of a soothing warmth without the ultraviolet rays, which this is why infrared sauna is a good option for those who can't tolerate high heat. This type of sauna heats the body from the inside out rather than heating the air around you. So the temperatures are going to be much lower than in a traditional sauna, and because because the temperature is lower, sessions can last longer. So you could go into an infrared sauna and do it for about 45 minutes. My session lasted 30 minutes. So this also means though that you might experience a more intense sweat at a lower temperature. What are the benefits of infrared sauna? First of all, there aren't a ton of studies done on infrared saunas, but I linked below some of the studies that have been done on infrared sauna, but there isn't a ton of research on it. But it's safe to say that unless you fall into the group of people that should be cautious with heat, sauna will be a great experience for you because of the numerous benefits it could potentially have. You could try the infrared sauna for yourself and see what you think and how it works for your body and how you feel after it. Some documented benefits of infrared sauna include the first one, which I think is one of the most powerful benefits, is detoxification. So heating the body directly causes a rise of your core temperature. This results in a deep detoxifying sweat. Sweating is our body's way of naturally eliminating buildup inside. It's also helping to boost our immune system to heal our body. Why do we need to detox though? Which that's a good question. Our environment, 
what we eat. Things have a lot of toxins around us that we don't even realize in uh, the hand soap we're using, in the air around us, in the plastic water bottle maybe we're drinking from. There are a lot of toxins in our environment that build up in the body. So eliminating those toxins through an intense sweat is going to be a really positive thing for our bodies. Chemicals are a really big business and many have not been tested for human safety here in the US. Other countries have stricter regulations on this, but it's something to really take into consideration. Just as an example, the US bans a very, very, very small number of chemicals in beauty and skincare products, whereas in the EU, thousands of chemicals are banned in the same beauty and skincare products. Our skin is our largest organ to detoxify from, and many toxins actually prefer to dump out through our sweat. Some toxins like arsenic and lead and mercury have been shown to more efficiently dump through sweat than urine, and I'll link that study up below. Another study showed that BPA, which you might've heard about with plastics, can be shown to be dumped more efficiently through sweat sweat than in urine. When toxins build up in the body, this is when rashes and acne and other things kind of build up and break out on our skin because we have a toxic load inside of our body. So just from talking about this, you can kind of see how detoxification is an important process for our bodies to have um, and giving it an opportunity to kind of have quicker detoxification through something like infrared sauna. I mean, I felt that almost immediately leaving the whole infrared sauna experience. I felt just different inside, I felt better. So another potential benefit of sauna is a heart health benefit. So the infrared sauna can induce this deep sweat, which actually makes our heart pump faster, which then can help to increase circulation, help blood flow, and then actually lower our blood pressure. But because of this making the heart pump faster, this is why someone with a heart condition, a sauna, is probably not the best idea. Another benefit that sauna can have is pain relief. Infrared sauna heat can actually penetrate tissues and joints and skin and help to alleviate everything from minor aches to chronic pain in our necks and backs and muscles. Another possible benefit for infrared sauna is that it is anti-aging. With the deep sweat that you get from sauna, it helps to open the pores and improve the skin's appearance. And because like I mentioned before, the detoxification of toxins is another benefit for your skin. When we have a lot of toxins building up, that's when skin issues can occur. Another potential benefit is weight loss actually. So studies have shown that 30 minutes of infrared sauna can be equivalent to burning 600 calories. Now, when I went into the sauna, I did not wear my watch, which um, I usually use every day to track my steps and activity, and it does track my calories. And I just didn't think about it when I went in at any of the three times to wear the watch, and I kind of really wish I did, just so I could kind of track that, but studies have shown that it really can help to increase your heart rate and increase calorie burn. Another potential benefit is health and immunity. The infrared sauna can actually help to boost our immunity and improve muscle recovery, which contributes to overall health and wellness. Another benefit, and this one is proving, because I'm gonna say I experienced this, is relaxation. So unlike traditional saunas, where the temperature is going to be super, super high, the temperature in infrared sauna, you know, is high, but that is a low enough temperature that you can kind of really chill out and experience a great relaxed state. So I did not use my phone while I was in the sauna. I did, you know, for a minute maybe to film, but I really tried to put my phone down then and Georgetown Massage and Bodywork has this great setup where they have lights overhead and it actually kind of really is a great meditative environment. So it was the coolest experience. I would say for the first 10 minutes, I wasn't sweating and I was just kind of watching the lights and trying to zone out. And then, yeah, after about 10 minutes, I felt one bead of sweat on my cheek and like none of my body did not start sweating yet. And then all of a sudden, I guess I broke a sweat and my whole body then was sweating for the rest of the session. Because of the way the infrared sauna is set up, it's kind of this gentle soothing heat rather than like a really harsh heat. And it does promote relaxation. I walked out of there feeling just so relaxed, so zen and honestly like, you know, I could take a shower and then go to bed. So while in the dome, it does feel hot, but it it definitely feels different than a steam room or a traditional sauna. 
Um, it feels like a very warming heat, if that makes sense. And it really does feel like it's at your core and not around you, um, which I know that sounds kind of strange, but uh, you really feel like a, a, a warmth inside first and it doesn't feel like you're getting into a tube of like intense Florida sun in the middle of summer or something. It's a different kind of heat. It does feel really great once you're done to get out of the tube and to cool off but you don't feel kind of the same way you feel walking out of a sauna or a steam room. So during this session I felt very relaxed and calm and I really did try to just zone out and meditate. Um, there was really soft music playing so I just, I tried to really zone out and relax. But after the session I felt a multitude of things. When I walked out of there I first felt like First of all, I wanted water. I wanted to rehydrate, so that's really important. Make sure you have water on hand if you're doing sauna. But then I also felt like my body had really detoxified. You just feel lighter and like your energy has shifted and you feel really different in, in such a good way. Um, I noticed that night I slept really, really soundly. It felt so good to get a shower that night and to go to bed. I felt so much lighter. I don't know if you've ever had one of those days where you haven't moved your body much and um, I just had one of these days last week where I didn't really make time to exercise and move around a, a lot. I was really at my computer sitting and working and when I went to bed that night I just felt like I had this stagnant energy and I just felt crappy. I, I feel like this sauna gives you the exact opposite experience. You feel like you've like moved your energy you feel light and you just feel amazing. <laughs> Another benefit that I noticed is how much looser my muscles felt. So I have a lot of tension up around my neck and I guess that's probably working at a computer even though I have a laptop stand so it's a little ergonomically better but I still kind of get tension here. And I notice when I come out of the sauna that feels looser. And the muscles that were sore maybe in my legs from working out, they feel a little looser. Everything just feels like it opens up a little bit more and you're not so like uh, like this. And the last benefit I really really noticed is how relaxed and calm I felt after it. Um, I have a drive from DC back to Virginia and uh, I, I didn't want to do that at all. I literally just wanted to like go and relax, lay down and maybe just drift off to sleep or something after it. It's just such a relaxing experience. So I would say if you do sauna, I would plan it for after your workout, like almost like if you're thinking about a massage or something, you wouldn't want to get a massage and then go do a crazy workout because it's just like gone that quickly then. So the same thing with sauna, I would plan it for maybe towards later in your day or after your workout so you can really enjoy the benefits coming out of it. So where do you find sauna? Now, infrared sauna is located in, in a lot of places. Sometimes health clubs, spas, maybe even doctor's office. I'm in Fredericksburg, Virginia, and I did a Google search on where it was. The spa that I've actually gone to before for massages and facials, they actually have an infrared sauna and I didn't even know. So a lot of places do have it. I would just recommend getting on Google and searching infrared sauna in your area to see if there's one that you can go to. And if you're in the DC area, if you're near Washington DC, Georgetown, I can't recommend Georgetown Massage and Body Work enough. As for Allison, she's so incredible and try their infrared sauna. There's also personal home saunas you can get. I mean, I think for me that is goals in my future. I would love to have a sauna at home and do that every single day. I'll link up a couple of the saunas I found before if you're in the market for a home sauna you can check these out but I mean yeah to be able to like wake up and work out and then do sauna for 10 minutes before you start your day like that's a dream I think. <laughs> At Georgetown Massage and Body Work I just want to mention the kind that they have. So they have the Sunlight and Solo System with solo carbon far infrared light which I know is a mouthful. I'll link up the kinds below. I'll actually link up Georgetown Massage and Body Works page about the system they have if you're curious. But that's the video you're gonna see here. That's the system they actually use. So is it safe? So infrared sauna on the most part is going to be healthy and safe for most people. If you're pregnant, if you're nursing, if you have any kind of pre-existing -exi conditions, if you have 
a heart condition that would be aggravated with heat, then it might not be right for you. If you are at risk at all for overheating, these are all things to take into consideration. So just to be safe, you can consult with your health person to check if sauna would be okay for you. So what do you expect when you go to the sauna? So the first thing you should know is you usually do get completely undressed depending on what kind of sauna you're going to. If you're going to a dome situation at a spa or something, you do get completely undressed because you sweat. So uh, I'm sure you could probably do this in a bathing suit if you feel more comfortable, but just know that you're going to sweat. A couple tips for when you actually do sauna, I like to wear super loose, comfy clothing. So whether that's just like a cotton big maxi dress or sweatpants and a t-shirt. The worst thing is kind of going to a sauna, getting sweaty, and even after you towel off, like putting on skinny jeans or leggings or something that's super uncomfortable. So just wear loose, comfy clothing. Know that the temperature is usually adjustable in most saunas. The dome sauna that I use, I could adjust the temperature, pick what works for me. In one of my sessions, I actually started at a lower temperature and decided a couple minutes in, I'd like to raise the temperature. So most of the saunas will have controls where you can pick your temperature and you can pick the time that you wanna go. I would say if you're a first time sauna user, you wanna start with a less amount of time and a less amount of temperature and then the next time you go you can move that up but just to get kind of used to it start at a lower temperature and a less amount of time and another tip is to make sure you are replenishing your fluids when you use sauna so and your electrolytes so this is really important we get dehydrated when we use sauna and we sweat out all those things so you want to be making sure you're drinking a lot of water maybe even a coconut water if you want to kind of replenish electrolytes you want to be hydrating though, that's really important. So uh, I like to drink water, you know, right when I get out, I like to have, I'll bring a hydro flask with me, filled with water. Sometimes I put other things in this, like lemon or coconut water, and you wanna just make sure you have fluid with you to hydrate when you get out. So if you have any questions about sauna, let me know below. I had such a beautiful experience, and every time I do this, I just, feel the healing properties of going to sauna. So I really wanted to do a YouTube episode about this, but if you have your own experience or you have any questions, let me know below. And if you would like to see more holistic health and wellness videos from me, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you so much for stopping by, for spending time with me, and I will see you next week. Bye.